Hi, my name is Beth Morris. Here is my deselection exercise. These are the materials I use for weeding. Crew, just weed it, and weeding the school library. And for the replacement books, I used School Library Journal and the Kirkus Review in order to find them. The first book that I weeded was Ideas for Science Fair Projects. It was actually written in 1966, way before I was born. The information is misleading. The experiment materials have changed. There's only white students in the book dressed in the 1950s fashion. My collection has no use for this book. The information is irrelevant and science books should not be more than 10 years old. For replacing it, I chose 50 Fun Experiments for the Mad Scientist. It's written by a woman. There's lots of colored photographs with young people from diverse groups. All experiments were tested. There's supply lists, step-by-step -step directions and glitches. The author gives science fair advice and keys for all entries to the next generation science standards, which are currently used now. The next book I chose was How Things Work. Floppy disks, cordless phones, Walkmans. Today's generation is too young to remember these items. The copyright date is 1996. It's not up to date. Technology books should not be more than 10 years old. I chose to replace the book with How Things Work 2016. It covers everything from simple machines to modern micro compressors. The illustrations are beautiful, contents up to date, and it will foster a love of reading for the students. The last book that I chose to read was Annie of Green Gables. It's ugly. The books are over a hundred years old. It does not foster a love of reading or appeal to a diverse population. I chose a manga format. The students love manga. The manga characters look more modern. This edition is approved by the estate of the author and it should encourage more students to read more classics. Thank you for listening.